In this video, I'll be showing you how to create interactive handouts using augmented reality to make engaging, memorable talking handouts and displays that can take your learning beyond the classroom. And best of all, it's absolutely free. Hi there, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tip. I'm Mark, and if you've just stumbled across my channel, watch through the whole of this video, and if you find it useful, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button below. And if you've been here before and you've not subbed yet, could you do me the absolute honor of subscribing to the channel? I use the likes and subscribes to measure how close I'm getting to giving you the quality content that you deserve. And if there's anything missing or something I could be doing better, let me know in the comments below. Everything I do, I do it for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use augmented reality to create talking handouts and display boards where you can launch videos, audio, and images as supplementary content via a trigger image. And I've also created you a step-by-step -step printable instruction sheet that you can download and use yourself. Augmented reality is rapidly becoming an important tool for educators and students, enhancing the traditional learning experience with interactive and immersive content. Studies have shown that using augmented reality technology in the classroom can lead to increased engagement, improved learning outcomes, and better retention of information. For example, a study published in the journal Education Media International found that AR has the potential to reduce cognitive overload by providing students with perfectly situated scaffolding, as well as enabling learning in a range of contexts. We'll be using Halo AR to create our augmented reality content. So let's jump in. Halo AR is a free app that's available for both Android and iOS. So grab yourself the app from your app store, and once you've downloaded it, you'll be prompted to give access to your camera. So go ahead and approve, and then set up your teacher account. So I've created this one-page handout on high expectations teaching, and you can create something similar yourself quite easily in PowerPoint. Just follow the tutorial in the link at the top of the screen. I'm going to be using the images in this handout as a trigger to launch supplementary content. For instance, this image of Professor Christine Ruby Davis will launch this video of her hub talk about high expectations teaching. So we'll get started by choosing our overlay by clicking the create button. The overlay is the media that will launch when we scan a trigger image. You can have an image overlay, video overlay, text overlay, 3D model overlay, or audio overlay. We're going to choose a video that will launch when we scan this trigger image here. So we select video overlay. We could upload an image as a trigger or even use location as a trigger, but for this example, we'll take this photo on the handout and we'll drag the corners to crop it and we click crop. We could now record a one minute video, upload a one minute video, insert a URL or search YouTube. I'm going to use a direct link to my own YouTube video on high expectations teaching. We choose the URL button and we tap to paste in our YouTube link. And then we click the next button. So now we've got an image and the overlay video that's going to play. We're going to give it a description and we can add it to a collection. These are my existing collections here. You won't have one of those yet, so click the plus button and create a new collection. So you need to name it. I'm going to name mine test. You can also give your collection a description. You can decide here whether you want it to be private, unlisted, or public. I'm going to keep mine as public. And then I click save. So now I can choose select the scan button. And then if I hover my phone over the image we've just created, the video is triggered. Anywhere on this handout where you see the Halo AR logo, I've embedded a video. So we've got John Hattie. Or you're not a good student. We've got the Pygmalion effect. And we've got Christine Ruby Davis. So we've created a halo with a trigger image that launches our video content and we've created a collection for our halos, the next thing we need to do is share it with our students. So in the app, we go to Profile, and we find the collection that we want to share. So ours is Test. 
And then here, you can see that there's a code that we can share with the students. There's a QR code, and you can share it directly from the app. The students install the Halo AR app on their device, and they choose to follow my collection. There's so many ways we can use Halo AR in our classrooms. Here's five of my favorites. Using AR to create talking display boards where key concepts get additional explanation. As a scavenger hunt activity in your college induction to help students find their way around at the start of their course. Virtual field trips, where students scan images to explore hard to reach environments. Motor vehicle students could use AR content to help identify and fix various components of the car engine. And art students could create video profiles triggered by their artwork to go alongside the work in their final major exhibition. Thank you so much for watching. You can download your free printable handout using the link in the description. And if you found this tip useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips for teachers. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.